What is up, my friends? Tell you what, I've been thinking. You know, I use a lot of, of music uh, on my channel. And uh, it's what's known as uh, dead music, I guess you would call it. Um, this is, uh, it's music of bands uh, that are all local Arkansas bands that I dealt with at one time or another when I was promoting music uh, under the name Leg Up Promotions, which is where I got the little doggy logo and all that. That was the logo for that, uh, that business. And uh, I couldn't see you paying somebody to design that and uh, and not using it so and I like the logo it kind of suits me you know uh, some rules are meant to be broken some of them are just uh, dumb fucked up shit anyway uh, just a little rundown you know a lot of you don't know you don't read that or whatever but those great bands uh, and it's it's sad as I haven't made this video I started a couple of times but uh, you know I stopped because uh, it's really an emotional thing for me. I mean, I was seriously uh, invested in these bands, uh, in their music, and uh, and really uh, wanted them to make it. And uh, to know that no one is playing their music anymore, except for a few select people, really makes me sad. Because some of this music was better than anything you will hear on the radio. And I don't care what part of the country or the world you live in. This was excellent fucking music. Uh, bands like Monoxide Project. Uh, let's play... Uh, I'll, I'll put links. Here, here's what I'll do. I'll name the band and I'll put a link to a video of that band. And I have seen every single one... I've thought long and hard about this list. Now I've seen every one of these bands perform and thought, My God, I will never see a better performance from anybody in my life at one time or another and then they'll come and outdo themselves but this is what we have video of and I've looked at it uh, Monoxide Project <clears throat> right there there is a uh, a video called uh, Kata Lambano and you'll notice that uh, phrase is on my business card and uh, my labels for my smoke salt Kata Lambano means uh, to to reach up and grab your destiny and seize it and pull it down towards you. That is what Daniel said as he went into the lion's den. And this song was written by, uh, by Kish Moody. And he was in church and he heard about that. And uh, you can relate to whatever you want. I relate it to, to life in general. Because that's what it's all about. Uh, yeah, that's a link to them. Uh, another uh, great, I mean, phenomenal fucking band is Drop Dead Syndicate. And you saw Elo in uh, a couple of videos so far. He's my roommate. He's a good man. He's been, he was the best man at one of my weddings. Uh, I'm telling you, this, uh, this band was phenomenal. And I don't understand why they didn't make it. But uh, they have a couple albums worth of stuff, just like all these other bands that uh, nobody plays. Now, there is... Uh, two bands on here that still are bands and they still are playing and uh one of them doesn't allow me you know i haven't i haven't even talked to them about it uh but and you know but they're still playing their music and selling it so i wouldn't i wouldn't probably use it anyway unless they uh unless they came to me but I, i'm not going to go to them because this is basically just for music that uh nobody listens to but anyway drop dead syndicate right here broken is the name of the song and it is a badass fucking song uh this other band this is the band that's still playing music and it's still a still a, and a phenomenal band they've been in they've been a band in little rock arkansas central arkansas area i think uh over 20 years ridiculous talent but this is my favorite no second favorite song you'll be hard pressed to find my favorite song uh being played but uh yeah 119 is a badass song I don't know where you can find it, but if you Google Psychosis 119, I'm sure you can find it on uh, iTunes, uh, most of these bands. But uh, yeah, 119 is a badass song, but I'll tell you what, Chemical Imbalance, and I just simply call it Imbalance. Whoa, what a great fucking song. Um, 
another band that I dealt with quite a bit uh, and did a couple of great shows and and they uh, as far as I know uh, are still a band uh, I don't really talk to the guys anymore but at Wars in and here is a, a song called Leroy creepy and it is a great song but you can also look under uh, graveyard song that is a phenomenal song man military uh, military family and uh, one of them dies and it's a, it's it's an amazing song you can feel it you can just feel it but uh okay now we got finding jimmy hoffa and uh this band was an osceola band came to central arkansas via some friends of mine named in uh, arkansas rocks entertainment and uh and uh they decided uh that they wanted to start playing so they played they went to memphis re-recorded with the uh the memphis sound and that that band was the tightest band I think I've ever seen. Um, it was like they had a click track all the time. But uh, finding Jimmy Hoffa, and now you'll hear them on my on my uh, songs too. Uh, Welding on a rainy day, I do believe is no. I don't know, it's one of one of their songs. Anyways, uh, uh, finding Jimmy Hoffa, rain will fall. Finding Jimmy Hoffa. Uh, okay, playing with karma phenomenal fucking arkansas band they've got i don't know four or five cds out uh seven shots i've played this song before it's one of my favorites of theirs uh but yeah playing with karma and uh last but not least uh and uh, you know there are several more great bands and there are a couple bands that let me use their music but uh some that i couldn't find a great example of a video you know or a live performance uh is uh suffocate and I managed that band. I always said I would never manage a band. And, uh, boy, I, I did. I believed in them. I believed in their uh, guitarist and their lead singer, uh, Chris and Jerry. Uh, Chris Castleberry is one of the most talented, if not the most talented writers I've ever known. And same with Jerry. Uh, as far as guitar, that is one of the best guitar players I've ever seen play. Uh, it's the kind of band where they change tempo and they change it's it's just such a such an interesting way of, of producing music and if you go to one of their shows used to be when they started out all of the other bands that were playing would be there watching them play while everyone else went outside to smoke a cigarette and that's just the way it is if you're around the local scene you know small bands you know someone you don't know that's time to go smoke a cigarette but uh so for kate just such a phenomenal band such phenomenal writing uh man anyway waiting is the name of this song and it is one of my favorite songs but uh man they've got a bunch they've got another band uh minerva check them out and uh legion i think i'll put a link i'll put a link to jerry's new band right there i, I think it's legion anyway oh uh, and just for the hell of it i can't use their music in my videos but i tell you what great phenomenal fucking band from arkansas called uh knee deep and there are some great there's a guitarist for that band that that dude everybody pretty much wants him to play in their band named uh, baker and uh then there's old lefty the lead guitarist in this video right here you'll see Screaming Dixie. It's about growing up on the Arkansas River. All right. And I know people have dead music. And I'm just, I was thinking today, and it what makes me sad, and I can't believe that I was able to keep it up, keep it together today when I'm talking about this. But man, it, all of this music, and I, you know, just with them bands alone, is probably about 150 songs. 50 or 60 of which are better than anything you will hear on the radio. And that's just from Little Rock. Imagine how many bands are from Seattle. How many bands are from all these other towns. There's, there's El Dorado, Fort Smith, Fayetteville. There's, there's so many towns in Arkansas, and so, or actually in the United States, that have so much amazing talent that play for two fucking people night after night they have amazing music music i'm look there's music that that will never be heard again i it's you think of the thousands and thousands of songs that 
were played briefly or written for a band, and then they were just like, eh, pff, I'm not going to play that again. We're not a band anymore. Uh, man, support local live music. If you got a night out, go to a, go to a venue. Go to a dive venue. Those are the ones you want to see. <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever been in Little Rock. There was a place called Downtown Music. It was a dive. There was a place called Vino's Brew Pub, and it's famous. Uh, oh, wait, uh, uh, Five Finger Death Punch played there. Here's a great video of Five Finger Death Punch, the bleeding, right before they really hit it and got big. They already had a show in Little Rock, and they came anyway. And uh, my friends from Arkansas Rocks record this. That is the best rendition of that song, up close and personal. Beautiful. Anyway, go to a dive. Check out some local music. I'm not saying you've got the best music around there. I don't I don't know. But if you're in Little Rock, fucking music, man. Arkansas is and and this from 10 years of dealing with local musicians and booking music and traveling around with them. Arkansas has the most talent that I've ever known of. Uh, if you are into music and you promote music, look at any of these songs. <coughs> Book some of these guys. We'll trade trade Hook, hook somebody up. There's all kinds of bands right now in Arkansas. Uh, Boom the Wheel. I don't know if they're a band anymore still or not, but they were they were tight. Uh, you go over at fucking Memphis, and, and there are bands over there that are fucking amazing. You, you wouldn't believe how good some of this music is. You. You can see it live. You can go up and shake their hand when they're local. You can go up and talk to them, buy them a beer, have bullshit with them. Go outside and smoke with them if you want. I don't give a shit. They're accessible. Get to know them before they're stars. Help them become stars by supporting them. Buy a shirt. They ain't making no damn money at that venue. The venue's got to pay bills. Buy a CD. Buy a bumper sticker. Buy a shirt. That right there, get them guys to the next town. If it's a, if it's a band that's traveling, and if it's a band that's local, it's... <laughs> They ain't got paid shit anyway. Exposure. That's how they get around that. All right. Love you guys. Check out some local music. Please check out those links. There'll be links down there in the description, too, of all of these bands. Y'all have a good one. Little doggy.